Welcome to Movie Quest for this week, everyone, where our topic is puppets. Oh, we got a good one for you. As I speak, Chad is in the process of shaving his head and transforming himself into Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. And me, well, I'm gonna be Beaker. This should be a lot of fun, so let's just get right to the playlist. First up is our movie, a short sketch with us doing live action Bunsen and Beaker, followed by an animated film by the animator Patrick Smith just called Puppet, about a man with two hand puppets who slowly begin to turn on him and multiply and ruin his life. Following that, from the channel Visceral Gristle, Good name. Comes Wake Up and Smell the Thrash, a thrash metal music video featuring only puppets doing all the music. This is actually really good and it's worth checking out whether you like metal music or not. I do. Chad does. After that, we'll be featuring the first two episodes because they're pretty short, less than two minutes each, from Animal Trash. It's a series called Workman's Comp. This is going to be the first two episodes. It's a funny show with very well done puppet work. And if you enjoy the first two episodes, it's worth subscribing so you can check out the rest of them. And after that, of course, we had to feature something from Adam Park Parsons over at his channel, Adam Parsons Online. It was one of my favorite episodes of the Alien Vlogs, episode 18, When Worlds Clyde, which introduces the character of Clyde. The show follows an alien named Jumwalks who's been stranded on Earth and is waiting for a way to get back to his home planet. And Clyde is that character that he hopes is there to take him home. So that's gonna do it for the playlist this week. Now, uh, Chad, how's it going over there? Oh my god. <laughs> Professor Bunsen Honeydew, everyone. He shaved his head for this. Apparently Bunsen Honeydew had a beard in, in the old days though. Not getting rid of the beard. He knows better. <laughs> I did it once before. My father told me that's why he won't shave his beard and I said, good point. Touche. Well good, stick around because it's time for our favorite bit. It's what I learned about you. First up from The Phantom Monk, he asked, was Chad a little drunk at the end there? Referring to when Chad was on the couch challenging Shea Carl to see who would become the supreme fat bearded guy on the internet. Chad, were you drunk? No, I was tired. Really? Why did you walk off? I wanted to get a drink. Okay. I was tired, if it wasn't apparent by me laying down, and we had to get the show done, and I'm lazy. He was very tired for most of that episode. Honestly, if you watch that Twilight video, look at some of the reactions. Watch his eyes. He was actually kind of falling asleep in the middle of one of those shots, but that's because those glasses were killing his eyes. Yes. Uh, I have perfect vision and the glasses were like slightly off from perfect vision and it was actually giving me like a migraine that didn't hurt, if that makes sense. So my brain was kind of like going mm, mm, and it was kind of knocking me out. Yeah. And also to address everybody saying Shea Carl isn't fat anymore. I know. I saw that and uh, while good for him, I think it's a cop out. I think he did it because he knew I was coming. Are you challenging him? I am. I'm challenging him to put the weight back on and meet me in the squared ring. Wow. Well until then, who's the supreme fat bearded guy on the internet? This would be me. Yeah. Chad challenges Shea Carl to gain all of the weight back and fight him in a wrestling match? Not necessarily wrestling, just feels like the square ring was the right place to bring the match. Squared circle. Squared circle. Get your Gorilla Monsoon quotes right. Sorry. We'd also like to thank Koala P, one of our subscribers who has done one of our Movie Quest intros in the past. He was the one person who went over to Shea Carl's channel and let him know, so yeah, Chad Newhall from Movie Quest has challenged you. Do you accept? Which, by the way, still no answer. Now, I'd like to reiterate how much I love Shea Carl. Very funny. So do I. This is Chad's issue. No, no, I love him too. But your challenge. Yeah. We'd like to thank everybody. We did pass 4,000 subscribers right around the time that last week's episode went up. So we didn't really get to mention it because we shoot these a couple days ahead of time, but thanks to everybody who's been subscribing and getting the word out. And remember that when we pass 5,000 subscribers, we will finally be doing that $75 B&H gift card giveaway. It's been a while, but all we have to do is hit 5,000. Now until then, if anybody else wants to be in the drawing, all you have to do is create an intro to Movie Quest for us. Make it 15 seconds or less, it's pretty easy, and just have it end with somebody yelling, Movie Quest! Like our general, Koala P has done in the past. You can be in the running. You can get a lot of good stuff at B&H for $75 or less. A lot of good stuff. We should know, the light I'm using right now was 40 something dollars. Damn bright, sure makes things look a lot better than they used to. Right, Chad? Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't believe your tone. Are you just saying what I want to hear? Yep. Let's go to the playlist.
But before the playlist starts, we just wanted to let you know, we now have a live webcam in our office most of the time in a public chat room that you can go into and ask us questions. It's fun. We tried it out with a couple of fans and uh, turned out pretty cool. So every Wednesday we'll be going up right after the show and we'll be in there for a few hours to answer any questions you might have. Or just to talk with us. We get bored very easily and we like talking to people, especially about geeky stuff. If any of you played Skyrim, bring it on. And it's worth just checking out every once in a while because often when we are working here in the middle of the night, we just leave it on. We won't always be there to comment, but if you just want a nice, soothing, relaxing presence in the background as perhaps you go to sleep, right here. Yeah. This is where the magic's gonna happen. Green screen right here. Probably good I didn't paint my head green. Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, wow. I didn't even think about that. We were originally gonna actually make his face that... We were gonna be fully decked out yeah. as just live action versions of the Muppets, but then I looked online and saw a couple pictures of people that have done it in the past. Looks like garbage. Just looks like they're sick. So we thought of a better idea. Yeah, just played up as humans. It works, look. I look like a human Dr. Bunsen. And Dr. Kind of. And Dr. Hugo Strange. Yeah. As, we, as you pointed out earlier. Well, hey, enough of us. Uh, we're just in the corner here. Uh, the playlist is over on the side. Start it, as usual, probably from the beginning, which is where you'll get to see what we're about to do here. And, of course, you can start from the middle. All the other videos are down there below. I went through the trouble of making this menu, so go ahead, click one. No, can't shave all my hair. I'm trying to convince Russ to shave his head like me, just for fun. And he won't do it. I'm trying to grow long hipster hair. The Stooges movie's coming, we can always do something that way. Yeah, shave my head again. <laughs> just keep it shaved all the time. Just I don't know. with the bick, as you I say. Don't think, I don't think I can. I think you can. All right, here's the question now for this week. I mean, not the question that's at the beginning, but just in general. Do you think Chad should keep his head shaved or should he grow his hair back? Got the right shaped head, I mean, it works. Turn sideways, let him see the profile. Yes, see? There. So, let him know. Shave it. Oh, really? 